All right, we're back. It's time for Gluth. And on this one, no trash. No trash? Is there, no trash. Is it true, Akbar? There's no trash? This is, this is the no trash dream. Okay, boss well, to boss. first up, let's take a look at the walk on the way. <laughs> To, uh, here's, to here's where we laugh at you if you can't if you can't walk so that is where we uh yeah fought those guys before patchwork on the way but where we want to go is this pipe wait we do we take damage in this pipe yes you do right so We're this damage right this here. pipe's looking real suspect right uh <laughs> um but we got to get through here to get to gluth so, so one other thing I'm going to show. You can stay there if you want. That's fine. Okay. There's a I'll hole wait. in the pipe. Right here. If you fall here, it's even worse. Because we have to engage the boss. And you are going to be in Grobulus's room. Oh, that drops you down into the boss's room. Yeah. Oh, drop, this no. You, actually, this drops you to Frogger. Oh, okay, okay. So, and then you have to run back through the room. But that takes a while. You got to go all the way back through yeah, Grabulus. Okay. But, but so as soon as you jump out of this pipe, glue starts, correct? Correct. He's okay. standing at the end of the pipe. Yeah, so so we're going we're gonna to jump down. Uh, if you look on the map here, this is the pipe. We're going to jump down into his room right here. All right, so let's read about Gluth. Oh, I got to make sure I have the right page up here. Um, what? let's try like, there it is. Okay. All right. Here's Gluth. Um, okay. He has an enraged shortly after. Okay. Well, we don't know what any of that, that is yet. So let's skip that. All right. He has a mortal wound. A stackable debuff on the main tank that reduces his healing by by ten percent. Oh, this is like Fenkris. Um yep. but uh the difference <laughs> be that between Fenkris is that this guy isn't tauntable. <laughs> so uh Correct. yeah, okay. All right, he also has a, a, a frenzy. About every ten seconds, we're gonna need a hunter rotation on that. Um he has a, a, a okay, this is the, the big ability. This is like uh uh, uh what's the yeah, do the the zombie spawns first because that explains well how the decimate works okay uh devour devour zombie or no underneath where it says the zombies where it says ads will spawn and the three green greats okay ads oh right here okay let's talk about the zombies all right ads will spawn at the three green uh green greats near the tunnel from which you enter the room. They spawn approximately every 10 seconds. They need to be kited for 105 seconds until uh, the decimate ability goes off. Once Gluth does the, the decimate, uh, make sure you top off the, the main tank. Uh, this this suggests uh, uh, the druids rotate their nature swiftness, but whatever. Okay, this will reduce their health to 5%, allowing them to be e easily zerged down though. Um, five percent is still about six k hit points, so uh, this suggests we stack them up. They also, however, lose all aggro and run straight towards Gluth, so we have to kill them before they get to Gluth, uh, because when they do, they heal, right? Gluth heals for five oh, percent. Oh, Gluth heals. For every zombie he eats. No, okay. So all DPS must shift focus from the boss to the zombies when that happens. Um, once they're dead, kiting can begin again, and the raid can go back. Okay, so now let's let's go read about decimate. So he does that thing like uh, if you ever played a Final Fantasy game, and they use an ability that takes you all to one hit point. That's kind of like what this is. Reduces uh, it hits everyone, raid members and zombies. It reduces our 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 health uh, down to five percent of our maximum hit points. Which is funny because the word decimate means to kill 10% of. But that's okay. 5% um, of our maximum hit points, no matter how much hit points you had before, does not affect pets. Hey, pets, all right. Um, okay, so 
basically what's going on is we have all of these zombies with tons of hit points that like that we would just be spending all our time killing if we were to kill them from 100 percent so we have someone kite them all around and then when the decimate goes off they all go to really really low percent five percent and then we can kill them quickly but when the decimate goes off, they also drop all their threat on whoever was kiting them, and they all take off and run towards the boss. So whoever's kiting them needs to make sh make sure they're pretty far away before the decimate happens, so we'll have more time. And then they'll they'll also probably be grouped up already, correct? If if yeah, they're being kited, we can't we can't really group them because the, there's the, no threat. The the, the kiter they're has to run. yeah the the, the <laughs> kiter has to right together. okay. Right, so so however group they are, like yeah, the the kiter can try to round them up as best they can, um, and then okay, we also have an AOE fear, um, which is actually a really big deal because it's less, it's more frequent than warriors can uh, immune it. Oh, twenty oh. seconds is too fast. Okay, so how do, how do we handle the fear then? We we alternate tanks immuning it. Basically, so Oprimo immunes the first one, uh, JD immunes the second one, then back to Oprimo, then back to JD. Because it also re removes, it like temporarily removes anybody who didn't immune it from the threat table. So, so we from just, what I can tell. So we just have like JD stand in front like he's tanking and then a fear's about to go off and he immunes it. So then when, yeah. so, so then when our, so then when Primo gets feared, then he just turns to JD, right? And he'll just turn to JD. Well, well, will that, but after the fear is over, will that cause him to turn back to a Primo and start walking towards Probably. him? Probably. Probably. Hmm. Is the fear dispellable? Do we know? I don't know. Well, it, well, we might be able to take him against the, like a wall to hopefully yeah, we'll be feared into the, the wall. Door. Yeah. Against the door on the opposite side or, of the room. Yeah. So, so that like the, his directions are, are pretty limited. Oh, I uh, tre tremor works. Um, tremor does work. Yes, according to uh, yeah, the other thing, here. Yeah, from what I saw, um, like I watched a few videos on this before I did my write up. What they did is they actually just used the fear as the uh, tank swap. For oh, a wound. yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, and and because then then the tank whoever gets feared away, like they're effectively stopping attacking at that point, and then Correct. um and then that fear will give them uh the new tank a few seconds to take aggro during okay. what well, as the fear's happening oh that's smart i love it okay then we will yeah we'll try to do that um okay that's so under the assumption that a primo and jd are one and two on threat basically all the time okay so it's gonna be important for everyone to know to stay below them um okay so but that that being said the enrage part is important here because it's also a DPS check because he has to be dead by the third decimate. Oh, okay. So, and, and the decimates happen every 105 seconds. So after 315 seconds, you dead, you're dead. Uh, this doesn't have his health, but he has a, didn't he have a pretty good amount of health? Yeah. He has like maybe two and a half million, three million. Okay. Okay, yeah. So yeah, pretty pretty good health pool. We gotta we gotta chunk I can down pull here. Up. I found his health pool somewhere. Okay. Um so we're gonna going to need a uh a kiter. Um and probably a backup kiter as well. Uh I I mean my mind goes straight to hunters. Is there is so there So my yes, I don't want to use hunters because hunters are tranking. Oh, the Trank. Okay, so who who do we use, you think? I, I think I'm going to try to use Mages. Um, uh, but I may actually, like, so what I want, what I, what I have written in the guide is mages, three Mages are kiting with three Priests that are shackling as the mobs spawn. Mm -hmm. um, so that uh, it's easier for the Mage to just grab them in the cycle. However, I have heard it's actually better to use Shaman to kite because there's not a whole lot to heal outside of the Decimate. And so a Shaman oh. kiting they can use, they doesn't can use... remove damage and they have Frost Shock. Yeah, and they they can use Totems to like to get coverage yeah. on, a, on the other side of the room. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. I like the so shaman I idea I wanna, a lot. I think I'm Me too. I'm down. 
I think I'm going to start with the mages and see how it is. Okay. But I may end up switching to shaman. Okay. Okay. Um, but what Saul said is absolutely true where they're going to want to hunters and shaman are basically going to want to drop traps and earthbind totems at the back okay. anyway for whoever's kiting. Okay. Okay. One second. I can't find his health either now. Um, okay. That's all right. So, uh, from... Oh, there it is. 1.5 I, I wanna... million. 1.5? Yeah. Oh, I mean, still... that's more than... That's more than Neff. That's more than Ragnaros. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, healer, from a healer standpoint, um... I would imagine we're going to save our cooldowns for the decimate so we get the raid topped off. We're probably also going to use our group assignments for healing to make sure that the that the whole raid evenly gets topped off quickly. Um, we're also... I mean, that being said, you have 105 seconds to top off your group before the next decimate. Yeah, right? Uh, well, also, so... the de 5% of their maximum health, they can't be killed by decimate. Right, so... It's like so... the boss in... Uh, AQ. W wait a second. Where it does the, percentage this, of your max. This decimate's going to be hitting the tank, though, too, right? Correct. So the tank needs to get healed immediately. Yeah. That's so that's the that's the tricky healed. part. Yeah. So we so shield, um, pre hots. Yeah. The the uh the nature swiftness rotation that I mentioned before. Yeah. That's what we got to make sure. As soon as that decimate goes off, there should be several heals landing on the tank. And then, and then after the tank is is saved, basically, then you go back and heal your normal groups and which top you don't off the even raid. necessarily need to do because decimate cannot kill. Yeah, right. Ever. We yeah, I guess we don't even need to technically waste the mana on it, except uh, unless we we're afraid die, of zombies yeah. killing us. Right. Right. Like it, like if there's kiting problems, then maybe. Otherwise, we might as well just like yeah, like just save the mana. Really, I yeah. I. Well, we'll see. I know, I know. For some people, it'll just make them uneasy seeing people that low oh, hit points. Oh. Well, that's something we'll just have to get used to. I think, like that, that's just part of this fight, right? You gotta, you gotta be okay with it. Okay. Um. Well, that's all of his abilities. So, so yeah, the the tanks need to have their switches down for the fear and the and the um and the 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 health debuff or the healing debuff. So that'll, we'll so we, they need that. Um, the kiter. Needs to be on point for uh for all the mobs. The hunters need to make sure that they're tranking and and, the and trapping. And and trapping. And the healers need to make sure that the tank gets a ton of heals right when the decimate lands. Alright. Let's go check them out. Okay. So here's the pipe. So we're actually gonna take damage in this pipe. Uh, so we're gonna land in here and not have full health. Because I think we're also gonna take a little bit of fall damage. Correct. Um, so as you move in, yeah, we got a little, a few holes to the side, so make sure you just, you stick to the well, side here. I aggroed him immediately. All right. Yeah. So as soon as you jump down, he, yeah, he's here to I get didn't some. I jump. I got to the edge of the pipe and he aggroed. Oh, okay. So he, yeah, he's here. To, so, so let, so let, let's show where we're going to tank him. I want, the tank is going to run straight across and tank him in this corner. Oh, I don't want to. Oh. My Ice Lance cleaves. I'll use a different spell. I don't want to damage Gluth yet. Oh, I'm the tank now. <laughs> well, he's I'm eating the all the... Now. Right, oh, he's... This, oh, yeah, he he's can eat... the chows. Yeah, That's so, why he's so these guys, when when they spawn, right, they they will still run to him. So the, the kiter needs but they, that... But they have threat when they're not... When they're right, not right. So, so, so they can be kited at that point. And then, and then when the decimate happens, they drop their threat and once again all turn and start running. Um, so here's the tank. Yeah, tank perspective of Gluth is gonna. Is this is this the right spot, Agbar? Like in the door here, this corner. Yeah. Uh, or um. Or to the right more, like over back, here. That corner. I mean, it okay. doesn't really matter. You just want. So the fear is only a twenty yard range. Uh huh. Um. So you want to make sure that uh. He. That oh, he's mean. Casters can get out of the twenty five yards. When he decimates here, uh, there's going to be a lot of zombies up because I'm kiting them. Except I don't have a snare, so I'm not actually kiting them. Okay. Oh yeah. And, and what? Oh, that. that's right. That's okay. There's the decimate. It's part of the fight. I only have 500 health. Wait, I'm taking oh, damage. Yeah. I bomb dying. 
I might die. <laughs> Akbar, help like, me. It's it's a real problem. Oh, what can I ice block? Oh, I guess that's All just right, healing. I'm killing Gluff. All right, kill him. It, okay. Um, I have 400 health. <laughs> if we really need to re to replay this, we can come up with different characters, but I think it's fine. <laughs> All right, so oh, that was that's what a decimate <laughs> looks like. Oh, you got a pet, Lucky. Nice, glutes bone. All right, uh, do you want some food, Agbar? Here. No, I'm fine. <laughs> You're okay. All right. Uh, here's, my here's my new pet. Wait, did I summon different food now? Let's see, Kilo. I want to see his new pet. Look at it. Let's check it out. Oh, look at it. It's glued. <laughs> there he is. That's awesome. That's the guy. Wait, my. Oh, oh, I'm making mage tables. Oh, because I'm in a raid. Man, your tail is Con almost too convenient. Convenient as hell. All right. Um. Oh, oh I don't think I have any of those for you. Thanks. I only get the mage one. Don't worry about it. I got some Nax, some Nax legs now. Yeah, new legs. Okay. Um. So that was what the decimate looks like. So it. Uh, look, it's gonna scare the hell out of us. It's gonna do it a few times until we get used to it and expect it. Um. It's just gonna happen. I uh, just don't heal. So I wanted. Well, I. I mean, we have the mana. Like, we're not going to run out. I think it's okay to, to, like, throw a couple heals out or, or let stuff tick up. We don't need to be super strict and say no heals, right? Like, as long as you have mana, I think it's okay. Like, the, but uh, but that shouldn't be your main focus, right? The, heal, the biggest healer focus is making sure the tank stays alive right when the decimate goes off. That's going to be, be the, the big part. Um, okay, so for kiters, yeah, we'll... Uh, um, is it... Is, are you gonna? Do you want to do multiple mages or or, or yeah, can, three? Mage, basically, each mage has is in, is in charge of one great. Because they yeah they they spawn out of these great charge here. of one great. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah, and this is a, as far back as they go. So we want them to be as like back here or further back, right? For when the decimate goes off, because if they're all the way back here and the decimate goes off and. They're tanking them all all the way down there. That gives us a lot of time to to get rid of that six k health. Um, yeah, it's it, I, it's pretty much gonna be like a Vasidis blob phase when all the blobs come. Just imagine there are a bunch of blobs <laughs> going yep. to the door. We gotta kill them. <laughs> Except we have to kill all of them every time. Right. Right. Okay. Um. This is also another one where there's one trash pack. Okay. All right. Well, we will. Okay. We'll do. We'll just do a, a, a two minute break again, and then we'll be back with the last boss in the, this quarter. Actually, this, a cool boss. Kind of interesting. This one is by far the most complicated we've done yeah, so far. Yeah, it is complicated, but it is also cool. This is a boss where if everyone doesn't know what's going on, we're we're just gonna die. We're just dead. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone, take a couple minutes. Oh, hey, fun. Uh, and we'll be back. Ooh, oh, we do need a healer. All right. We'll be back with Thaddeus.